Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video, and today we're going to take a look on the way that I use my overlay program um, personally to play around sometimes. Sometimes I just don't use it uh, to not, you know, just to, probably because I forget to actually turn it on, but still. <laughs> this is how I set up after I saw one of my friends actually using it like this, uh, Moscow, if you are hearing this, thank you for uh, giving the idea and kind of indirectly, but still. And yeah, guys, let's get into it. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you, all the members and patrons, and let's get into it. So, if you don't know, we have this little program here, War Thunder Real Time Information. I already did a video talking on how to install it and stuff, so I will leave it here right now. For you to take a look and then here is the way that i used right now okay it's a very clean setup and i think it's uh fairly good to help actually help in rb especially you know it will give you a lot of information for you to actually help uh, i only use it in rb not in simulator but still uh it is very good so uh just for me to show so for example uh we have the uh the heading up here, right? So right here, uh, we have the IAS speed over here, uh, the G limits of the aircraft, uh, the Gs, of course, the climb rate, and then the fuel in minutes um, that it's left, right? Here we have the power output, so amount of thrust produced, the amount of fuel in kilograms, and the amount of fuel being consumed by in minutes. And right here we have secondary information like AOA and turning capabilities. Uh, all of these, the rest there, it's from the game itself. Remember, this program doesn't change anything. It just reads stuff from the server and it basically puts an overlay program uh, over your game. As you see, I can, I can cover everything with the program, but I don't see anything. And I'm going to show to you guys how it works and then how I did it. So uh, let's take off, for example, just to show to you guys how it is. We are in the MiG, <clears throat> on the MiG-29, sorry. Uh, we can basically save setups for each aircraft. I'm going to talk about, for example, uh, the F-16 has uh, different limits than a MiG-29, for example. And with that, you can actually have uh, different, uh, basically, colors or alarms or anything like that that you can use. Uh, there is more stuff that you can do beyond what I'm using, but still. Uh, right up there, we have the heading. So, while I turn, uh, this is especially useful in the matches that I'm doing with the events, right? So, it actually helps you kind of give the heading direction that you have and to give to players, right? Uh, so, to help you, basically. And, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I chose that greenish kind of very subtle green um, there to not go like too much into the HUD obviously some people will not like this setup because it is too much stuff but I'm testing out uh, since I told you guys uh, that uh, my friend there um, actually uh, basically is using like this and I like the idea then we have on that kind of side here we have the G's so as you see if I pull positive G's it is just showing the G's. If I pull more than 9 G's, which is the limit, a safety limit of this aircraft, it turns or, uh, like an orange, kind of yellowish kind of color. I am a little bit colorblind in those situations, so for me it's like orange, uh, but yeah, I think it's orange, right? And if I add it to like 12 G's plus, let me see if I can actually turn like that. I don't think I will be able to because you know the limitations of the hybrid systems of the fly-by-wire systems but if i pull more than 12 g's it will turn um bread basically so alerting that it's pulling a lot of g's let me try to see if i can actually turn come on aircraft turn a little bit better come on it's not i'm going to pass out and if I do negative G's, it tells you as well. I can put a, a limit on negative G's as well. Uh, I will show to you guys uh, how to do that. But basically, it will change colors depending on how many G's I'm pulling, as you see. Let me try one more. Once more. A little bit faster. Maybe faster, it's easier sometimes. G 
just passing out. Come on, Meg. No, it's not not working. But still, uh, if it pulls more than 12 Gs, it will turn red. Okay, guys. Uh, the IAS, as well as you're going to see, I added the limit for 1,300. And then it changed color as well, as you see. And just to let me know that I'm being fast right now. And if I pass to 1,500, as I told you guys, I probably should add a limit for each aircraft that I fly. But since I fly so many aircraft, this will be the limit. I will still have the... Um, I forgot to turn it back on as well. Uh, but I will have still this little thing here. Where is it? The IAS up there as well. Just because I fly so many aircraft that I would need uh, a lot of limits to be added there. But yeah. As you see... Uh, uh, 1500 kilometers per hour it becomes red so yeah pretty cool and if you think that you saw there it is a, li a sound limit when i pass 500 kilograms of fuel so once i basically pass 500 kilograms of fuel uh it will the fuel there will turn yellow and i will receive a warning on the sound that you hear it and also, if I remain with less than three minutes of fuel uh, on the minute, m minutes round down there, it will become yellow as well. If I continue to use the fuel, as you see, less than 30 seconds, it become red down there. And if it's less than 100 um, kilograms of fuel right uh, on the kilograms there, it will have an alarm as well telling me that uh, I have very very low fuel so it is just a way for me to actually control uh, and not and, and basically pay attention to the fuel that it's being depleted right uh, so yeah I should actually I think it goes forever I don't remember yeah I think it goes forever but still it is a pretty good way to actually see that uh, we are running out of fuel, right? So yeah, red, everything is red. And then the alarms goes goes down because, you know, I have already the, the, um, the fuel capacity, right? So yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a cool little feature that it helps you kind of have a little bit more information. And yeah, guys, let me help you set it up. So. To set it up, uh, you will have to add uh, them here. Let me save this. This is it has the wrong name here, but let me put uh, general. So I have a little save there. But yeah, basically you will need to add all of these. So you will click, for example, here, and you add the ones that you want. So for example, you will click here and add trust, for example. And then once it's here, you can click twice and actually add some alerts and stuff. Um, the general idea for groups helps a lot. So I, you can divide by groups here. You click on here and then you go um, basically here. You click add group and then you will add a group. For example, you, I don't know, um, add five if I wanted another one. You will just create a group right down there and then I can come here. And just move this thing to the HUD 5, for example. And then I want the HUD 5 to be right here, for example. So you just... Oh, it's not here. You just go here on the HUD 5. And with this position, you can actually change where it is. For example, if I put 900 and click Apply, it will go up there. Um, if I click 500, it will go down too much for example let's do 250 so yeah it's right up where i wanted before you know uh you can up the scale if you want to i don't know if it's that much yeah it's really really small i don't think it oh yeah so yeah you can make it bigger as you see or smaller depending on the way that you want uh everything so, yeah, as you see here, if you add it 100, it will, oh, it will be the normal one. And, yeah, you can change the way that everything is here, for example, to be in columns or rows or anything like that. You can 
basically do anything. You can add colors to it with this one and or just over you can basically change anything that you want okay let me delete this uh and the trust goes back uh, right there yeah that's that's good uh let me just put the trust up here because i love the trust there but still uh this is basically the way that you i set it up so you just add and add the groups okay and then the alarms you can just basically click here and then you will have this little pad here of alerts. So, for example, let me show to you guys on the IAS. So, you have it here. You will click Add. And then click here and Settings. And then you choose a value. So, for example, if I pass um, more in value uh, than 2,000 kilometers per hour of IAS, uh, the color will change to purple, for example. I don't know. And I want an alarm sound to be repeated five times here or with the speed of five so now we have this if i pass 2000 kilometers per hour of uh, ias it will do that you can delete it as you see and it's pretty good and one of the things that i want to actually to do here is to for example uh, where is it few kilograms for the alarm not to be that much you know the alarm can be a little bit um you know maybe too much um so i can actually add secondary things so for example um it should be uh, no let me show to you guys hold up oh, you can just click on range i think let me check and add like a 50 kind of thing or like yeah it can be 50 so now uh, let me restart if i try to actually um, fly the aircraft it will should put the alarm between the uh, the 100 kilograms to 50 kilograms and you can basically do everything that you want so for example on the g's i added uh, a yellow limit for when it passes 9 g's so basically you do this uh for that just add here add add you know settings nine make sure it's bigger choose the color if you want a sound here you can do it add another one settings 12 g's red you know and so on and so on i did this with the ias with the load factor the commas doesn't need it climb doesn't need it few meters per second as well you put it in seconds here so 180 seconds uh, so if it has less than 180 seconds, it becomes yellow, as you see here with the color. And if it becomes less than 30 seconds, it becomes red. So it can calm my attention on it. I know it's something that maybe not a lot of people care too much. Um, I mean, I didn't even care too much until... I don't know, it's just... It feels like you are you, you have a lot more information on it. And with it, uh, you can actually have a lot more fun flying around as well, because uh, there are some funny things that you can do with this. So, yeah, it's pretty good. As you see down there, the fuel became yellow because it's less than 30 minutes. If I take off the afterburner, it becomes normal green as well. But let's try to burn the fuel to just to show to you guys the alarm again. The way that I added there. Look at the speed. If I... If I want to, I can add another limit of, I don't know, 1,570 just for the MiG-29, for example. But remember, once you do that, you need to go here. And each time that you do something like this, uh, you need to actually... Uh, you need to actually change it here. So, for example, if you have a save for a MiG-29, a save for an F-16, a save for all these aircraft... Um, you're going to have to change each time that you play with the aircraft that you're playing. As I said, um, I played with a, I play a lot with a lot of aircraft and record a lot of things. So I try to not uh, do that because it's a lot of things to forget and stuff. But still, in the future, I can basically do that with the major aircraft that I fly. So yeah, yeah. IAS became red. Let's see the alarm. 
at 500 kilograms of fuel as you see on the left side there it will become yellow and it will give you uh, one alarm hold up man this thing is fast let's let's go faster Five hundred kilograms. Just one alarm. Yellow. This is like bingo fuel. You have. You gotta return to base. Like you really do need to return to base. And then waiting for the hundred kilograms. As you see, it became red. The consumption there. And here we have the hundred. Oh, it didn't work perfectly it didn't work oh my god let me try to do it again i might have done something wrong in here but anyway you get the idea right uh i'm not the most efficient player ever on that uh let me blinking oh you can even blink stuff nice range it would i mean you can add let's see No, it's not for dance. Oh, it will take off the, the range. Uh, I thought it was going to work, but it didn't. But anyway, it was fine as it is, as you see here. I'm running out of fuel, the alarm is going off. And then after a while, the engine just turned it off. And the alarm will turn it off again. So it's a way for you to don't forget to save fuel depending on the mission um it is kind of annoying but normally you don't get uh, to that kilograms of fuel you know so yeah as you see right there saw the the the, the g's that i got uh i'm really light right now so yeah i managed to pull 13 g's and it became red but basically this is it guys this is how i use uh the war thunder real time information it is a lot of information as you see um but yeah um just go there mess it up mess around a little bit and if you guys want it i can post on the discord my values for every location of the hud things there but it is pretty easy to actually understand how it is uh anyway i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i see you guys on the next one okay guys so bye see ya